a person comes to you and says that they have just come up with a way for you to never have a headache again, then says, but you won't need to buy medicine for headaches anymore, don't argue with them. If a person comes to you and says they have just come up with a way for you to never wear out your tires again, but you'll never have to buy tires again, don't argue with them. If a person comes to you and says they have come up with a way for you to never use copper telephone wire again, but you will never have to pay for telephone service again, don't argue with them. Don't be retarded and argue for some rule that you must pay for these things, especially when you don't make them, nor will you benefit by arguing to fill someone else's pocketbook. Yes, you pay for things that are now in antiquity, including telephone service over copper wires. Years ago, before many of you were old enough to, or to make a difference to your thoughts, lawmakers decided that there would never be another Ma Bell communication system installed in our country again. This premise includes fiber optic cables that have been installed worldwide, including all fiber optic cables everywhere. Individuals and entities have rights to access fiber optic cable for their usage without any toll or charge for their usages. Don't be a person left behind with antiquated thinking about how you think things should be, or certainly don't be afraid to break free from your program thoughts that you must always pay for the things that you always pay for. Simply, this world has changed. As a quick guess, if I had to, I would say most of you would not turn down a person handing you a $20 bill twice a week because they told you they had the money and just wanted you to have it, and you understood that the money giver wanted nothing in return. If you think that having a communication system put in is expensive, you would be right. I would then have to say to the people installing a communication system, wait until you hire the billing department. Fiber optic communications are superior and that there isn't a staff of millions performing daily maintenance or billing you and charging you because someone simply needs to send you the bill or be regulated by your tax money to be sure you aren't getting ripped off while they do just that bill you. Don't argue for someone else having your money as you pay a bill for service that you will never have on fiber optic cable. If many of you or your parent knew how many boxes of your favorite cereal or how many things you needed as a kid or as a parent that you simply did not get because of the taxes, regulations, and higher prices you paid then and now while doing business with a Ma Bell company, you would never fall towards any argument that seems to uphold that old way of doing it should be that way now or ever again. If you are sure that you weren't a person that ever made a rule, start making them now. But do so without an argument in favor for some company filled with people that have truly dogged out, dogged out you and your family over the years. Yes, people work there but wager that they didn't want to be there 8 a.m. Monday morning to hear us all complain about the bill. Don't make statements like, but they're not going to do that, or they won't let you, or it's against the law. It is already the law that you have rights to access fiber optic cable for free, no matter what company installed it or claims to own it. Don't be this fool arguing away the livelihood and prosperity of you and your families that live now or in the future. Moreover, stand up now and face the fact that this world is truly rich. Write down and including to the fact, yes, we can communicate to each other for free, including that we can acquire mass amounts of information from the internet and offer it to others for free, including that there is plenty of pre-recorded and live television and video for free, all over fiber optic cables. Never be stupid again and argue for another one-horned, three-eyed, four-toed, purple people eater like Ma Bell to come into all of our lives and cause us to spend as much as four or five percent of all money and time we will ever work for to go to a Ma Bell. Were you ever without money and needed some? Money, you could have had it. But at the time, there was no fiber optic cable to let you keep it. Yes, you paid taxes and got a refund the next year for some of the taxes you paid, but I'll wager some of what you might have gotten back went toward regulating companies like Ma Bell. You should full well have the idea now to go out and truly be a person of the now future and be able to exist amongst the rest of us that already knew these things should be and are. 
Good luck with all that cereal and other stuff you need. Do be realizing that the 4 or 5% of everything that people have worked for, by pay for and running communications, are a resource we might not ever get back. But all of that human resource used in our past could likely have amounted to a cure for cancer or could have went to a self-sustaining energy system for our country that we don't have yet. You spent your days, nights, and weekends paying for someone to get the message out. Your time, your money, you being used up at your job daily to pay for what is free now. Stop paying. That part of your life is over. Put that 4 or 5 percent of time towards keeping us all here a little longer. We want to be here and like it while we are. Sincerely. P.S. Here's a tip for a law, rule, you can make and tell others about. Tell them they just decided that they're going to start a campaign to push others on the fiber optic cable for their communications. Kind of like the TV stations are all going digital in 2009. They want the campaign because people are passing up on the resource of fiber optic cables in the United States, where other countries have already taken advantage of it in many places. You know, that's all a few rich guys at a company called Vonage did, was buy some equipment to connect people and started selling it over copper telephone wire. But you can do the same thing on fiber optic cables for free if it's in your neighborhood already or if it will be in the future. I don't know what else to tell you except be looking at the Telecommunications Act of 1996 and try to understand that paying a price for something over and over and over again is not necessarily uh, making us in any better shape than we were before. Matter of fact, paying a price for things is just that. It costs more and more and more. Don't pay for it and see that it can be better and see that it will be better. Thank you. They have a special interest in your career They want to help you to grow And then siphon all your dough Why don't you find out for yourself Then you'll see the glass Hidden in the grass You'll never believe me so Why don't you find out for yourself Sick down to my heart That's just the way it goes